Yo, what's up everybody? We're out here in the garden um, and I'm going to do some daily maintenance here. So what I'm going to do is pull some weeds. Um, we got a ton of stuff that's growing uh, wild, like wild tomatoes, wild peppers, things like that. So I'm going to leave some of them in the ground, uh, but get most of them out of there since they're just kind of sucking up nutrients. Um, and then what we're also going to do is get some fertilizer and some microbials down uh, to help with the uh, nutrient absorption. And then we've also got some pests attacking, I think, the tomatoes and the cabbage here. So you can see the leaves are kind of all chewed up. So um, everything that we're going to apply today is an organic chemical um, or, I guess, organic product. Um, so we'll walk you through those. I'm going to pull some weeds and then we'll meet you up at the spray tank. All right, so I uh, just got done eating dinner. Wanted to, uh, we grilled out some steaks and then uh, getting ready to spray some fertilizers and some pest control on the garden. So uh, got the eating out of the way and now we're gonna do that. So I'll walk you through what we're gonna spray. Uh, first, we're gonna start off with fertilizer and it's called Neptune's Harvest and it is an OMRI listed organic certified product. Um, it's made, it consists of hydrolyzed fish and seaweed and uh, it's got a two, three, one analysis. Um, and then the other good thing about seaweed is it provides a lot of micronutrients, uh, helps kind of hold in some moisture, and you know, so it helps in that way. So a lot of micronutrients. And then we're also adding in another microbial uh, called Mammoth P. And this is a product we're getting ready to pick up at AM Leonard. Um, it's a microbial. It was developed by Colorado State University, or a spinoff from Colorado State University. Um, the company's called Grossentia, and basically what this does is it unlocks the phosphorus and the micronutrients in the soil, uh, helps kind of shield the root system, and um, kind of similar to mycorrhizae, but it's a little bit more uh, complete product, or complete um, compound, I guess you would say. Uh, again, I'm relisted and organic. And then for the pest control, we're going to do, we're going to use neem oil, um, again, an organic OMRI listed uh, product. And this is used in like soaps and shampoos, uh, detergents, things like that, toothpaste. Um, so it's a really safe product. Like, you know, obviously I'm not going to drink this, but uh, help, it helps control some fungus, helps control uh, some bacteria, and, as well as uh, suppression of mites and aphids, white flies, that sort of thing. So it uh, worked really well in the garden last year, so I'm going to uh, stick with that this year. And um, so basically I'm going to get cracking on that. And then uh, we're, uh, the sprayer that we're going to use for this is a uh, Jackdo sprayer. Again, got this from A.M. Leonard. Uh, nice thing about these they're they're kind of they're used all over the world like they're really popular in South America like in Brazil um, but I, what I like about this is it's really simple the pump or yeah the pump is inside of the tank so if it leaks it's not going down your back it's leaking inside of the tank um, and then also it's got a really good feature of uh, when you pump I think it's four or six pumps and it'll get you up to like 45 psi so you know you're not sitting there cranking on it all day you can just do a couple and you know just keep going so um, you know it really helps save your uh, save you some energy and I, I don't know I guess you know it gets it does get a little bit tiring if you're doing that all day so that's a huge thing you know for someone who's working in the field um, or spraying chemicals all day um, so I'm gonna get spraying on that put it in fast motion and then we'll link up after that All right, so I just got done fertilizing the garden with the Neptune's Harvest fish and seaweed fertilizer. Uh, mixed in some mammoth pea with that, and then went back over it with uh, what I thought was neem oil. When I went went to go put everything away, I realized I never put the neem oil in, so I pretty much just like rinsed the tank and sprayed uh, everything in the garden with you know on the leaves and the foliage and all that with the fertilizer and the mammoth pea. So. Um, <sighs> It's not really keeping my control going like I wanted to, so I might have uh, messed with that a little bit, you know, as far as like keeping this section just for like grow tabs and, and all that, but um, you know, who cares? It's going to be a great growing garden, so um, got that done, and so yeah, I was just like, 
I couldn't believe that I forgot to do that. So then I went back over it with the neem oil and I'm really glad that I did because you could definitely see like a lot of bugs popping up out of the uh, raspberry patch, um, especially in like the areas that were a little bit more dense. So that, that'll be good. It'll help control the pest, um, which ultimately just gives you more fruit. So uh, it's a win-win, uh, all organic products. So everybody loves that. And um, stay tuned. I'm upstairs here in the plant lab because uh, as you can see, we have a lot of stuff that uh, just really isn't growing as well as uh, I thought it would in the trays. So um, I'll take you down here. We got onions and they're a little dry too. Definitely need to get those uh, watered up. And then lettuce, it just it just didn't do well upstairs, and uh, I blame myself for that. I blame the climate. Um, as you can see here, I neglected some basil and killed that, so I just need to get. Uh, and then we got some more tomatoes down here, which I'm not sure why why I decided to grow those, but um, you know I just can't help myself sometimes. So um, what I'm going to do up here next is start growing microgreens. So I just installed some AC units, help us control it a little bit more. Um, if you can't see that I'm sweating my ass off right now, it's uh, 88 degrees up here. So um, probably should turn those on. Uh, probably should have done that a long time ago, but uh, kind of live and learn. So we'll see if this will uh, actually work and, and keep it a little bit cooler up here. So we can try to grow some microgreens and either add that into our mix or start selling you know, to, to, to some other channels. So uh, stay tuned. We'll get that... Uh, video up tomorrow. So thanks for watching in and as always I appreciate it.